Next question is from Michael Vanderloo. What are some unseen benefits of the farmer's walk? Farmer's walk. Ooh, yeah. I didn't get into doing these until Map Strong. When we put out, I've done farmer's walks before. I had to sell this on you guys. Yeah, in in well, I mean, for my, for Map Strong, it was obvious. If well, that one, yeah. Yeah, you watch strongman competitions; they have to hold stuff and walk on them. But you're right, Justin. You used to talk about them all the time as being great muscle builders. Mm-hmm. But I always was like, what what specific muscle am I working? You know, I know it's good for tension. Right. And, and I understood on paper its value. But yeah, I never increasing really- mus- muscular tension, you know, great for like reinforcing good posture um, and just overall a good muscle building exercise. Uh, and just isometrics in general, I've always been a fan just because – it, you know, it, it's really good for the joints to, you know, experience, uh, you know, that kind of support where, you know, I'm getting my whole body to learn how to really brace and tense on command and still be able to to move and have that kind of support uh, through movement. So, you know, for the farmer's walk, you can really load the farmer walk too. So another thing uh, that's great about like adding more of that volume and adding more of load in, within your workouts, like a farmer walk is, is a very easy way to do that. One of the unseen benefits benefits that I know. And again, Justin was somebody who really got me doing this. I mean, I mean, I can count on one hand how many times before him that I had probably incorporated a farmer walk. And it's now a pretty regular thing that I, I add in there. And one of the things that I noticed, and it reminded me of, it took me all the way back to like my early twenties when I was training with these like power lifter guys and they were trying to get me to squat. And like at that time, like I could like barely squat a plate. And they stuck like three plates on my back and they're like, you know, they, they wanted me to squat and feel that. And I'm like, you're fucking crazy. I can't even do two plates. Why do I have three on here? And he's like, your body needs to get acclimated to feel, it needs to feel the weight. Like that's how they just explain yeah. it. You just need to learn to feel the weight. And, it, and it, when the, what I noticed from that was he was right. Like, you know, before that two plates was scary as fuck. But once I felt what three plates felt on my back, all of a sudden two plates didn't feel so scary anymore. Mm-hmm. And I think a similar unseen benefit from the the farmer carries, because you could load them so heavy, right? A lot of people can can farmer carry more than they can chest press, more than they can even squat, more than they can deadlift. Well, maybe not what they can deadlift, because you got to deadlift it to get it up. But most people can- You can, can get a lot of weight. Yeah, you can do a lot of weight doing the farmer carries. And, and you're moving, walking, right? So what I noticed with it, it, and you're holding on to that, when you're holding on to two, 300 pounds like that, then go try and grab 100-pound dumbbells and chest press it. All of a sudden, I felt that to be a lot easier. So right. I noticed like- it turns, your, it turns your CNS, your central nervous system, on. Mm-hmm. Here's, a, here's an experiment that you could try right now. Take your right hand and squeeze it as hard as you possibly can. Now, if you're doing that, you'll notice that the rest of your body also tensed up. Now, all you're trying to do is squeeze your right hand, but instinctually, you tense your entire body, other muscles that have nothing to do with your right hand. You mm-hmm. you probably tensed up your left hand and your feet and your face and your core just so you could squeeze your right hand more. And that's instinctual because it works. If it's you beneficial. Were to, it's, if you were to squeeze a gripper with your right hand as hard as you could, but keep the rest of your body completely relaxed and then do it again, but this time tense up your whole body, you're far stronger when you tense up your whole body, even though the rest of the muscles of your body directly have no effect right. on that hand. There's no direct effect, but there's this indirect yeah. CNS signal that happens. And what farmer walks do very well- They like increase your amplitude they, in, in a sense. Totally. They turn everything on and they, 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 change the, they, they change the set point. So think of it this way. Think of your central nervous system as having a safety set point, if you will. Your body will only let you access a certain amount of your total potential. And this is actually true. This is true. Olympic lifters who train very, very consistently um, at a appropriate intensity and do very explosive movements, they have been tested at being able to uh, hit something like 90% of their total potential. The average person is somewhere around 30 or 40%. You just can't access the actual strength that you have. And it's because your body's trying to keep you safe. It doesn't think it can. But when you test it by doing a farmer walk where you're walking with this heavy weight and you got to do it right. Don't, don't, don't hurt yourself, but to challenge yourself. So you're tense, you're, you're tight, you're walking with it. The whole body is working to maximize your output. Then when you go do the rest of your workout, your CNS is your, your, your output went up a little bit. You've now increased it by a couple percent within that workout. This literally within that day, so they've done this with studies on 
on heavy lifting. If you were to do like a heavy single squat and then go jump, you get a higher jump than if you didn't do the heavy single yeah, squat beforehand. Yeah. It just turns on your CNS. It's like what I talked about the other day when you, I go heavy deadlift and then go over to do pull-ups. I feel like I just fly up when I start, totally. doing, start doing the pull-ups. And that, that's what I, the unseen And it's not just like you feel that way. It's real. No, no. Mm-hmm. It's no, it's obvious. You can get way more reps out. The weight will feel lighter when you're doing it. Like, do this. Go do the farmer. Do heavy farmer walks. And then go over and go do your your heavy chest press or go do heavy single dumbbell rows mm-hmm. after that. And you'll feel like the way you pull that weight or you push that weight Dude. after you've just got used to holding on to 300, 400, however much weight you can do a farmer walk with, all of a sudden 100-pound dumbbells don't feel like anything. If you value strength uh, and performance at all, you need to really value your central nervous system. You could... The reason why you're stronger when you have caffeine in your system, and studies will prove this consistently, a certain amount of caffeine, people will lift more weight, or why people on PCP or crystal meth are so hard for police to stop is because those are strong central nervous system stimulants. The reason why a parent can lift a car off of their pinned child in an accident, there's actual there's actual case studies where you have a 140-pound you know, mom m- move a car to save their child. It's not because she instantly grew all this new muscle. It's because in that situation, the CNS was turned on. You can actually train this in your body. Farmer walks one of the best ways well, to do yeah, it. Well, yeah, not just that. It's to elongate that process. So to build up that, I always, you know, I talk about this ad nauseum about work capacity, but it, in terms of being able to control and, and maintain that level of tension, this helps to train that so you can elongate uh, the amount of force that you can produce in, in each exercise. So, you know, if there's a, a, a point of a lift where you always struggle, where you feel like, you know, there's there's not as much power output. This will help to kind of train you to sustain the the level of power output that you had going in. 